place in the game that's up and uh, it's something that just kind of happened. Well, um, the kickers, uh, myself and Brooks and uh, Jack, we the first thing we do every practice after we have our team flex and everything, we go up to our top field and uh, we hit some no steps. Um, that's that's what that kick was. You don't get to take any steps. You're just already planted next to the ball and um, you just got to kick it. So we start practice every day with that drill. Um, so I felt comfortable with at least uh, thinking I could kick it far enough to get it over. So there's no initial thought of panic or <coughs> oh my God or just uh, just just a natural flow kind of thing for you for, for that practice you're getting. Well, Coach Smart was preaching to us all week um, to just have discipline and, and physicality and composure. Uh, and he told us if we had those things, then we were going to have a really good chance to win that game. And, and so all week I was just thinking to be as composed as I possibly could, no matter what situation came up. And um, in that situation in particular, I was just trying to stay composed and uh, trust the process and trust that Jake was going to be able to get it back down on the spot, and he did. A lot of people think of extra points as just something that should be automatic. But along those lines, is that your most memorable one you've had here, given the circumstances? I believe so, yes. <laughs> is that drilled solely for that situation if something like that happens, or is that you know just a you know a kicker type drill that y'all just do? Um, well, no steps. Um, they it focuses on a couple aspects of your swing. It, it focuses on really having discipline drawback, um, just trying to have as much drawback as you can, and and also focuses on your on your follow through because you don't have any momentum from a running start that you normally have when you kick a field goal or a kickoff. So. Um, it really just tries to emphasize those points um, during your swing. And uh, if the situation does come up where um, something like that happens, uh, you know that you have reps and you have mental muscle memory uh, to be able to go out and execute it. Rodrigo, during pregame when they do the starting lineups on the Jumbotron, they say a player's name, the crowd kind of cheers, and they say Rodrigo Blankenship, and the crowd really starts to cheer. Do you hear that, or is that something you pay attention to or notice? Uh, I, I love Dog Nation. and. Um, I love that the fans are so supportive of not just myself, but the entire team. Um, I really want there uh, to just come a day when, when every single player in the starting lineup is getting um, the full cheers of the crowd because every one of these players on this team, not just in the starting lineup, but everyone on this team has a role to play. Um, a lot of players don't get noticed um, on game day, but there's so much more than just myself that goes into this team. and. Um, I'll really appreciate the day when, when everyone gets um, gets to have the full attention and love of Dog Nation. When you're working on the no-step uh, no drill, what's the furthest you can kick a field goal when you're doing that? Um, I don't remember the last time I've done it, um, but if I had to guess, it'd probably be about 35 or 40 yards. Really? Rodrigo, you went, I guess, from making some of your kickoffs touchbacks to last year a majority of your kickoffs. Now, what, I think it's 37 of 39. How? much does that excite you? And I know you talk about the, the work you've put in. Did you sense that that could be a possibility this year, 37 of 39? Um, I would like to be 39 of 39. Um, I'm a little disappointed that um, that's not where I'm at right now. Um, every time I've gone out on the field for a kickoff, the objective uh, from the coaches has been to kick a touchback. And um, as far as I'm concerned, I haven't been able to, I haven't been able to do that yet. Um, hopefully I can. Uh, put out a little bit more consistent performance the rest of the season and uh, just do everything that the coaches are asking of me. Um, yeah, I just um, just want to be as consistent as I can be and uh, still got room to improve. Um, since we're only talking about two that weren't, what, what happened on those two? Was it not a good kick? Was it the wind? Was it obviously there are different factors that can result in that? Uh, I just didn't hit as clean of a ball as I would have liked to. What kind of different vibe does a night game bring? Uh, it makes me think back to uh, Friday Night Lights. Um, back at Sprayberry High School, I, I always loved uh, playing at night. I just get I just get a little bit of a sense of calm and, and peace when it's a night game, and uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. Did the Missouri game kind of represent something for you where you kind of knew you had to step up your game slightly, or were they just kind of minor fixes that you had to make? Um, I just think that, um, speaking not just for myself, but um, for the whole team, we just uh, we haven't really played our best game yet. Um, it may have been highlighted in that game uh, for some individuals or maybe as a team collectively, um, but I think just as a whole, um, the whole team, every single player on this team has uh, things they can do to get better. Um, it was just, uh, just a little bit more so for myself in that game. I, I realized that um, 
what I've been doing so far isn't quite good enough, and I still need to get better. Roderick, one more question about the extra point the other day. I mean, from a historical standpoint, it keeps your streak alive. With I think you're within now three of Blair Walsh as far as the consecutive PATs. Did you think about that at all Saturday when, when that occurred? No, I'm not really thinking about that. I'm just trying to treat every kick with the respect and, and attention to detail that it deserves. and Just trying to go out and you know take everything one step at a time, one rep at a time. Uh, and just try and do my job for the team, whether that's one point or three points or trying to kick a touchback, whatever the case may be. I'm just trying to take it one rep at a time and uh, worry about all the streaks and records at the end of the day a little bit later on. Looking back two years ago, Vanderbilt came in here and won on homecoming. Um, what do you remember about that game and how much have you 